Right now, the search intensifies this morning for a possible serial killer after three people are murdered in 10 days and all within one mile of each other. Now, area business owners are feeling the effects. News Channel 8's Amanda Shavari live in Seminole Heights this morning. And Amanda, you know, some residents living in fear, but for others, really, this is, uh, this is affecting their bottom line. Paul, it really is. And to give you a little demonstration about how just afraid people are, this is the memorial site for the latest victim, Anthony, that 20-year-old man who was shot and killed here. Reading one of these balloons, you can see one of his loved ones writes, protect us all. This is the fear that the community is feeling right now, and business owners say it means less people are coming out. People are in fear. Um, you don't want to, it's disrupting people's lives because, you know, you don't want to take a bus and get off of here in fear of losing your life or your children's lives. That woman is an Uber driver, and even though she lives here in Seminole Heights, she isn't picking people up right now. Other business owners tell us that things in the neighborhood are really slowing down around 7 p.m. Now, remember, police have asked people to stay inside for their safety once the sun goes down. Neighbors say they've noticed an increase in police presence, but for those who live and work here, they tell us they just don't feel safe. You just don't know what this person's thinking, you know, it's just, you know, the MO is bus stops, but who knows what's going to happen next if you're driving and, you know, you stop at a stop sign or something and something happens, so I generally don't come over here now. <laughs> With many people on edge now in this community, there will be a meeting for people to come together Monday night at 6.30. That meeting is going to be held at the Edison Elementary School. It's going to be welcome to the entire community. Also there at that community meeting will be the mayor and the interim police chief. Paul, this will be a chance for people to, to talk to their city leaders, their community leaders, ask them questions that are on their mind right now, and hopefully walk away with a little bit of peace. Hopefully. Yeah, you know, Amanda, the first victim found at a bus stop, the uh, third victim just a block away from that same bus stop. So uh, I guess the question right now, too, this question, any changes to that bus route? Yeah, we are standing where that third victim was found. That bus stop you're talking about just down the road there where you see those blue balloons. We reached out to Hart. They tell us they've already taken precautions on this Route 9 line. They've added more precautions on it. They're also going to meet meeting with police tomorrow to decide if the route should continue or if it should be canceled right now as this investigation continues. We shall see what happens. Amanda Shavari on top of the story this morning live in Seminole Heights. Thank you so much.